Hello and salut everybody. Question of the day is, are your kids financially literate? Your children, are they financially literate? You know, are you, <laughs> are you financially literate enough? Do you know what I'm talking about? So we are going to talk about financial literacy today. You know, just a few stuff, simple stuff that we need to focus on. They are simple. They are like common sense, but they are really important for especially, they are really important, especially for our children. So we are going to discuss that this morning. Before we do, I want to welcome you to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the family. I am grateful that you are here. I'm happy that you are listening to me. You could have been listening to a cat video somewhere, <laughs> silly video somewhere, but you are here listening to me. So I am grateful for that. I am grateful that we get to see another day. Uh, it's a sunny day today uh, and I am happy to see that. Um, I am grateful that you, we are alive. We get to see another day. We are breathing. No matter what is going on, we get to see another day. So for that, I am grateful. I am so grateful that I'm here with you. You are listening to me. Uh, you are watching me. So thank you for being here. and Thank you for your support. Always. Thank you for your support. So we are talking about financial literacy today. We know that our children, they are getting educated at school. You know, where they are getting what they need at school. But I do know that from experience and from what I have heard, I always talk up, talk to young children who, you know, decide to talk to me or when I'm talking to young children, especially those who are starting to get a summer job or starting a new job. So I talk to them about, you know, saving, um, saving money and certain things that I'm going to talk to you about today. I talk to them about it and they are always surprised. It is something that they, they did not get taught at school. Their teachers did not <clears throat> touch on this, excuse me. Their teachers did not touch on this in school. They didn't teach them at school. Their parents did not teach them this. So I, I feel like it is something that I need to discuss this morning quickly, just to remind you, if you're not doing it, just to let you know that it is very important that our children are financially literate. They are getting, yes, some of the students are in finances, you know, at school. That's different. You know, they will get to learn that after when they get in college and all of that. But I want to challenge you. I want to tell you that before your children graduate from high school, before your children start getting summer gigs, you know, summer, you know how they get excited about summer jobs. Before they start doing any of that, before your children graduate from high school, before they start getting summer jobs, I want to challenge you to make sure that they know how to save, really save money. They know what a 401k is if they are living in America. If they're not living in America, whatever the equivalent is, wherever you live, they need to know what 401k is, saving for their, you know, their retirement, to know how to do a balance sheet. They need to know how to balance a check. I know we're not using a physical check like we used to, but they need to know how to balance their accounts, their balances. They need to know that. They need to know what a credit is or credit score is if they live in America. They need to know what credit score is consist of, what credit credit score does for them, what they need it for. They need to know how to build it. They need to know how to create it, how to gain it, how to get it. They need to know how to build it to make it better, to increase their credit score, how to maintain it. I have a video for every one of this. So if you haven't checked my previous video, I recommend that you go and check my pre previous videos. Your children need to be financially literate. Financial literacy, it's important for our children before they go out there to be on their own. It is important for their future. It is important for how they conduct their lives. Financial literacy is important for your children. It's important for them to know at the young age. I know sometimes we want our children to find, to, to learn the hard way, but this is something that, you know, when they learn at a young age, it will help them for the rest of their lives. This is one thing that you don't want them to learn the hard way. Financial literacy, this one-on-one, -on -one, financial literacy one-on-one -on -one that I'm telling you, it is one of the things you don't want your children to have to learn the hard way. So it's important 
that we help them learn. We help them understand. And I want to challenge you, if yourself, you don't know how to balance, you know, to do a balance sheet, balance a check. You don't know what a credit score is or credit is. You don't know what 401k is. You don't know how to save yourself. If you are not financially literate, and this is not against you. There's just certain things that we don't pay attention, you know, to do. We don't think it's important. If you're not, you know, financially literate enough to teach your children, this is a chance for you and your child to learn together. I know it's not embarrassing. Don't think that this is embarrassing because I was talking to somebody who's like, it's embarrassing. It is not embarrassing. Look at it as you having a one-on-one -on -one with your child, having a bonding time, learning things together. This is a chime. If you have always wondered if there was something you can do with your child, you didn't get a chance to do, this is an opportunity for you <laughs> to get to do something fun with your child. Learn financial literacy together. If you are not, you know, in a position to teach them. But if you are in a position to teach them, I want you to make sure that your children are financially literate because not everything that they need, these one-on-one -on -one financial literacy, one-on-one -on -one I'm talking about, is not taught in school. They get out and they still don't know any of this. I find that out when I talk to young people, I know they don't know. So I want you to please do your due diligence. I want all of us as parents, as adults, I know chances are you have a, a young person, even if you don't have your own children, you have a young you know, person out there that you love so much, you want the best for them. You have somebody out there, you have a child out there, you have a young person out there that you want to do better. You want them to succeed. So I'm challenging you, I'm challenging you, parents, you know, co-parents, wh whoever you are, adult, <laughs> I am challenging you all to work together so that we can make sure our children are financially literate. It is important for them to do that because we have to, all of us, we need to help our children so when they grow up, they can help the world when we are old. You know, because we are getting there, we are getting old. And our children are our future. So we need to help them be better people than we are. We need to help them do better than we, we have and we are. We need to help our children grow smarter and do better and help the world when we get old. We need to help, we need to help our children be better people, be smarter than we are. So it requires all of us to do our part. So I am trying to do my part and I cannot do it without you. So I need you to share this video, even if for one person, share it with one person, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed and check out the rest of the videos. Like I said, every single one of this that I touch on, I did a video on. I want you to check those out. Stay safe and blessed and I'll see you next time you see me.